what is going on everybody it is aaron cates and welcome back to the channel now recently a couple of you guys have been commenting asking for walk arounds i do have walk arounds on the channel but a couple things has changed since my last walk around we have a new bumper we have exhaust we have headers so a couple things have changed so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a whole nother walk around i guess i should just start doing these like every every six months i'm guessing because there always seems to be someone that's looking for a walk around so i guess we gotta make it a regular thing i am waiting to do a walk around on the ford until it is a little bit closer to uh tagged and insured on the road i don't really want to do a walk around on something that's kind of just a project truck for right now but i'm actually gonna go find a new filming spot because as you guys know i moved and I don't know where anything's at, so we're going to try and find a, a spot that we can film and do a walk around on and go from there. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. I've been in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the 4 or 5 on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride. All right, so let's kind of start this out with the obvious stuff, and then we'll go into more of the, the smaller things that I've done to the truck. So I've owned the truck for close to five years. It's about four and a half years. I got it October 11th, 2016, and got it bone stock. It's a 2004 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's got the 5.3, it's two wheel drive, which is kind of what persuaded me to do this YouTube channel that I started. Uh, I think my first video was November 13th, uh, 2017. And I started because I noticed that there's no videos on lifting a two-wheel drive or doing really anything to a two-wheel drive, cat eye or round, uh, the round like eagle eye, the 99 to 02, and then 03 to 07 classic. There's no videos on it so i was like you know what what a better way to get my name out there and help other people i want to do this stuff to my truck anyways i might as well do it and record it that way i can show other people that way if they're thinking of trying something they can see if it works out or not I've done a lot of things that didn't work out well on this truck uh, we've tried stacking different leveling kits and lifts together to try and get the highest but still drivable lift you can so obviously the truck is purple it is a vivid matte ghost uh that is the color of the wrap itself i did that almost a year ago on this channel um it's got aftermarket tow mirrors it's got the older body style tow mirrors i do plan on going the newer tow mirrors a lot of you guys request that i do see the request it's just not high on my priority priority list right now um we've got a six inch rough country lift which I then paired with two inch max track lift springs to gain eight inches of suspension lift and then three inch body lift. With that eight inch suspension lift, you can run stock upper control arms and it still will be able to be aligned. A lot of shops will tell you that they can't install the springs or that they can't align it. And I'm telling you now, I myself have not only done it, but I've also talked to no exaggeration close to 30 people that have also done it since I did it. So if you go to a shop and they tell you one, that they can't do it, or two, that your truck won't be able to be aligned, they are lying to you. Uh, they're either just trying to take your money and just you to buy something more expensive, or they just don't wanna do the work and you should take it somewhere else. Um, but I do have spindle source aftermarket upper control arms that are meant to run with a two to three inch leveling kit. So they really do help with the ride and the angles, but you do not need them just to put this lift on if you would like a better ride you can put them on and get some aftermarket shocks and it'll ride a lot a lot closer to just the normal six inch lift and then on top of the eight inch suspension lift that i have i have a three inch zone body lift and that's what's got us up even higher we're on 22 by 14 american force fallout face plates i do not have the face plates so i did wrap the face of them purple to match the truck and we have some 37 by 1350 Razor Maxxis mud tires. And then the front, we've got the Move Bolt Series front bumper. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite things about the truck. It just stands out. 
Um, it makes it look a lot meaner, makes it look a lot more like a show truck. And it's overall one of my favorite things I've done to the truck. Uh, I do have a link down below that if you guys click and you guys go spend money at move, you will save some money. So definitely, if you're thinking of getting a move bump or anything like that, anything for move, go down, click that link, uh, and you will save some money off your purchase with move. But let's go around to the front of the truck. We kind of covered everything that's on the side right here that you guys can see. So the front of the truck, we have HD hood, HD drill swap. Now, while we're doing this, I can tell you guys, everything that is on this truck, I have on this channel. So if you see something you're curious about, before you leave a comment down below, click on my channel, go throughout my videos. I, I promise you there's a video on it. Um, we have double turn signals up front with switchbacks. Uh, I don't have my keys on me or else I'd flash them for you guys. But the whole lower, instead of having a daytime running light and a turn signal, we just have both turn signals. So there's no more daytime running lights. It's just all turn signals on the bottom with switchbacks. We have a rebel lighting pods in the bumper. Some of the brightest pods I have ever seen. That That's not even like paid for to say. They are honestly super bright. We've got the HD drill, HD hood. I already covered that. Uh, the drill itself is off Amazon. The hood I got from a local junkyard. I think I paid uh, just under $200 for it. Uh, if we walk around, see we've got 5% tint over the whole truck. Um, we've got wheel lights, their lighting trends, the RGB white flow series. They're very pricey, but they, they are very nice and lighting trends does cover their warranty pretty well. We had some problems with them. I made a video on that and everything got squared away and fixed. So if you never watched my live stream after that saying how lighting trends made up for the warranty problems we had, there's your, uh, your answer. They did make up for it. We do have some aftermarket headlights with some LED strips on the inside. I am going to redo these because I'm not the biggest fan of them anymore. Now we have some long tube headers that are heat wrapped and honestly the heat wrap is ass in my opinion. Uh, it has not only came off but it has changed colors. Uh, so we've got the heat wrap on there and long tube headers. We have a catless Y pipe. Let's see if you guys can see underneath here. I don't think you can but we have a catless Y pipe. It goes to an X pipe, to a Flowmaster 40, dual in, dual out. It's all true dual, back to three inch tips, and it honestly does sound really good. We've got aftermarket tail lights, aftermarket third brake light. Uh, this is an aftermarket bumper. It's a stock replacement, but it's not OEM. Uh, here, very soon, I will be getting a move bumper for the rear. We did shave the cap off the tailgate and filled the holes so we don't have that tailgate cap on there anymore um that's really all the big stuff on the outside like we've got little seven inch light bars for reverse lights we've got spike lug nuts on the wheels the inside there's not really all that much I'm still in the process of painting the dash panel but we've got the, the matched uh vents overhead console right here I mean, speakers, we've got two audio pipe tweeters and crescendo door speakers. Really not a lot has been done on the interior. I do plan on doing a Starlight Headliner very soon, but we just haven't done that. Under the hood, there's nothing fancy. We just have a normal eBay cold air intake. That's really all. Now, you might be thinking, Aaron, that's not really a lot done to the truck, but in all reality, it kind of is. There, there's been a lot of things that have replaced on this truck. Uh, a lot of me mechanical maintenance, like the entire drivetrain has been replaced. It's got all new U-joints, carrier bearing, ball joints, upper and lower control arms. I mean, really everything through the track has been gone through. It's got 456 gears in it. I did miss that doing the walk around. It's got 456 Yukon gears, all new bearings throughout the entire axle. I do have a video not installing them. That's the only thing on the truck I had to shop install. But I do have a video of before, after, different pulls that we did things like that but that's really a lot of all that I have done to it uh, I will go over some things I do plan on doing like I said I do plan on doing the starlight headliner I'm hoping to do that pretty soon I do plan on doing the new body style tow mirrors uh, I do have to rewrap some areas of the truck that had some 
some areas that the wrap failed and lifted and it's created an air pocket underneath the wrap and just doesn't look good so we will be rewrapping some sections of the truck very very soon that will happen before daytona uh, but really besides mirrors the starlight headliner and rewrapping sections of the truck i don't really have much else that i really just want to do to this i want to lift it higher but at the same time i don't want to spend the money doing that i'd rather spend that money on my ford so this is the full walk around uh, that one of you guys had asked for. Uh, it was a recent comment. I forget the guy's name. I apologize, but you'd asked for a full walk around on the truck. And I realized I haven't done one a little, over, a little over six months. The last time I did it, I didn't have the front bumper. I didn't have the headers. I didn't have the exhaust. So I figured, you know what? Might as well update it, do another walk around. That's about all. So uh, let's get out of here and head back to the house. Okay, normally I like to film my outro on the outside of the truck, but it is very cold outside. And guys, not used to all this cold from Florida, all right? Um, I know I only moved three hours north from home, but it we looked at the weather yesterday and it was 30 degrees colder here than where we moved from. So just uh, gonna sit in the warm truck and film this outro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like little walk around videos like this, let me know and I'll, I'll do one on the Ford here real soon. Um, finishing things up here real soon on the Ford. I've got, I think, two videos coming this week of doing stuff on the Ford. Uh, waiting to order the stuff to finish the rest of the lift. I already have everything in the cart that I need, just waiting to purchase it. So I will tell you guys now, we are going up another four inches up front on the Ford. So it's gonna go from a 15 inch lift to a 19 inch lift. Uh, and we are lifting the rear guys. I have six inch leaf springs lift leaf springs coming I have an inch and a half at a leaf that are going on those leaf springs to make it seven and a half inch leaf springs And then we're gonna probably run I'm gonna say either seven or eight inch lift blocks in the rear that should make the rear kind of close to the front and Then it will completely be level uh, then it's gonna be rims and tires finish out the shocks and then it's gonna be ready to uh, be tagged and insured on the road so guys i'm super excited if you guys like these videos drop a like on this video drop a comment what you guys want to see i'll catch you in the next one see ya